Hey there, this is part two of the Drumlin Diner from Fallout 4. I've pretty much done all the exterior, made some furniture, added a very simple base to it and dirtied it up quite a bit. It's uh, just cardboard and a couple of different types of foam and that's the entirety of this, uh, this diorama. I hope you get something from this and I do hope you enjoy the video. I'm just using some scraps of XPS foam to make a duct on top of the roof and a couple of units. I just, you know, stuck a toothpick down inside it to help strengthen the uh, the joins. Let it dry overnight with some wood glue and roughly cut off the edges because all the the uh, the good work of this is going to be done with the sanding. I just want the crude shape. It was not long enough as well, I realised, so I ended up putting a couple of joins in the middle just to lengthen it and then let it dry overnight again. <laughs> You can see how crudely these are cut, but again, it's going to be the sanding that'll make it uh, nice and tidy. I'll go outside and do that. I drew up some uh, lines in it just to make a really basic looking vent. And I, I sort of screwed it up when I drew it, so I ended up making a, a hole in it so it would look like the vent is uh, damaged. I got rid of my uh, awful drawn in mistake drawing some joins in the duct really easy stuff this it's just a excellent sculpting tool I, I love the XPS foam after that I'm just going to rough everything up with a bit of uh, foil just make it look all pitted and dinted because I'm going to make it look rusty so I, I want it to be nice and rough looking same with the duct again just rough it all up it was a pretty quick job this one. I put a bit of uh, wood glue into the the paint just because I wanted to seal this seeing as it, it exposed on top of the roof. Just gave everything a quick layer of brown and then just some silver on the on the vents. It's just a cheap acrylic paint but it does the job just nicely. I had to put a couple of layers on because it is a little bit transparent but uh that's not a problem. Bit of rusting going on. I just um, very cruelly did this as well. Just stippling some uh, reddish tones onto the surface. And then after I've done this one, I'll just get a, a slightly lighter colour and just sort of work my way inward with it. You could end up doing probably three, four, even five different uh, tones building up if you wanted to be super detailed with this. I only did a couple, but um, I also ended up putting a dry brush on it because it didn't look quite right. It was a bit shiny because of that uh, glue that I put into the paint. But the colours are nice and it certainly looks rusty. I think it actually looks a bit too rusty. That's another reason I ended up putting that bit of a dry brush on top of it, just to, to tone it back a little bit which it did and after I dry brushed it I went and put a, a brown wash on top of it again too because it looked too dusty so um, yeah to do the windows I just got some pencils two different tones one a reddish brown and one a, like a burnt umber and I just went around the outside of the silver paint I just wanted to draw in the rust so it would be nice and fine around the edges and I used this black pen to really add a very sharp detail of rust. You know when something becomes so severely rusted that it's actually disintegrated and it's not joined anymore? I wanted to give it that look. I made these really simple um, shutters with some black um, gutter guard stuff. <laughs> Put it in the bottom of your plant pots. I don't know what it is but it's plastic. It was the right size. I didn't have to do anything but cut it out and glue it on. Nice and easy. Just another one of the details that's in game that I wanted to follow along with. I just slotted them in. I don't look too bad. A corner one. It's nice. Nice and tidy. I really did try to follow the uh, the design from the game as close as I possibly could. A bit of edging on the inside just to tidy up around the windows and a bit of uh, wash to go around the, um, the entire building, the inside and the outside. I just, um, when I do this kind of washes on just about everything 
I generally like to wet the cardboard down a little bit. It's like doing watercolor. If, it, if you've ever done watercolor painting, you wet it down and then you let the, um, the paint bleed. And that's what I like to do with this kind of thing. So it becomes very natural. You see all these bits of plastic that I uh, stuck in the, the door and the windows as well. Just a nice little added detail. It's uh, no effort to do. That looks sufficiently grubby. I like it very much. And now it's time to move on to the base. I just made up a quick base and put a couple of sheets of uh, foam in the bottom and then just some foam core board on top of that to make it uh, for the ground and then just sort of a elongated round cornered piece for the top, the, well, the, 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 uh, the concrete slab it's going to be sitting on. I just roughly drew up lines. I used my ruler as my rule I didn't bother measuring it so it's a little bit out of whack but I am not phased by that at all because no one would notice if I didn't mention it I'm just going to cut out some uh, pieces of the the foam core board that are matching to the footage in the game I hang on to those little bits too because I just made, made some little rough bits later and just draw in the patterns I want. I'm cutting these holes out or you can poke them in with the end of a pencil or whatever you like. Once you paint the foam core board it, um, it looks really nice and rough like concrete because it's so porous and it's got an excellent surface on it. I'm just going to give it a coat of grey. This is a lot greyer than it looks. It looks almost like white under the camera, but I can assure you it's it's quite a quite a serious grey. <laughs> I just gave it a very rough coat with that. That's what I love about the black foam core board because it saves you having to add other colours. And then I added an, a, a lighter grey than that, which now you can see that looks like white, which it also isn't, but just to do the edging. So it's got that extra pop of colour for the gutter. I put some sandy uh, stuff down while it's sand <laughs> onto the foam core board so it's the uh, the dirt that's all around the actual diner and these little leftover bits that I had mentioned earlier that I broke up and popped them on there. I uh, paid attention to detail and tried to mimic these from the game as well so hopefully it's accurate enough. And then the brown wash again, the same jar of acrylic brown sludge that I put on everything. And you can see how you've got all those little, um, little pores in the foam just letting it pool into it and just pulling it out so that's you know another colour on top which really does wonders for the diorama. I, I did this about three times and in different places I did it a lot heavier. Those um, you know those bits I pulled out I made wells with the um, the paint and filled them right up. Foam core boards are amazing for making uh, faux concrete. You have to do almost nothing to it. And once that was completely dry I was ready to uh, start placing things down and playing with it. I stuck some lights up inside the dino because I could. <laughs> I just wanted to have a bit of light in there so I thought it would look nice and I'm going to use my lines that I drew in so crudely to be my guide of where to place it down because I'm not going to glue this down until everything inside is completely built as well. I made these little outdoor umbrellas out of a bit of cardboard and um, like a toothpick skewery thing. I just got some um, cereal box cardboard and I cut a big circle, you know, cut the little wedges out because it's meant to be one of those um, like vintage aluminium outdoor umbrellas so I tried to um, replicate that. If anyone wants a video put out about the umbrella and everything that I made, um, the small detail, just let me know and I'll be happy to make videos. Yeah, this was a, It was a bit fiddly but... Um, it turned out pretty good. I was um, quite happy with it. I think there's a, a lot of bugs I could knock out of it if I wanted to um, make a full video on how to do it properly. But uh, for a, basically a practice go under the camera, it came out pretty good. And it looks like an umbrella, so <laughs> that's the main thing. 
I used these uh, actual little umbrellas because I couldn't figure out how to make the, um, you know, the stand for it. So I, yeah, I came up with this idea which saved me huge amounts of work. I just cut a little knot off the top after peeling the paper off and then I just glued it up in there with super glue. And um, so I got the little skewer and everything in an all-in-one go, which turned out excellent. I, I love cutting corners and saving time. And this was, uh, this was perfect for that. I was very happy with it. And it's also really sturdy, surprisingly. Just a little uh, table that I made out of cardboard out of the back of a book. It was just the right thickness and um, no corrugations in it, so I jumped on that and just cut out two circles and stuck a hole through the middle and stuck it into that umbrella. It's just so easy. That's the cardboard there. I'm sure everybody has a book in their house with this kind of cardboard. It's really sturdy. Gave it a spray and uh, ready to paint it. Did I mention how happy I am with the umbrella? <laughs> I really, I, I was really pleased with this. It came out so strong and so detailed. It's, it's a brilliant little thing. I just did uh, more of that grey that looks like white. I, I never use white on anything. I pretty much never use it on anything. It's so stark. So uh, just a, a very light grey. Just a turquoise blue. It's quite nice. It's uh, very stark, but I will sort that out very quickly. And you can see how untidy the umbrella actually is once you get a bit of paint on it. So um, for this build, it was okay. If I was doing something new, I don't know, I'd probably work a little harder on it. Splashing that wash all over it because I want it to look, you know, like, I mean, you've seen an outdoor table and it's been in the weather and it, you know it, it ends up like this so that's what I'm going for just a dirty old table that sat out in the weather for a long time see I'm not um, being careful careful with that all I'm really rough with everything that's to achieve more of a natural look I took a piece out of the umbrella because it was uneven so um, yeah I thought I'd uh, just leave it so it looks like it's broken. I think they're, some of them are meant to be broken anyway, so I will embrace the mistake and have to figure out how to get an even amount and not do that again. But they look good. I really like them. They're really good. They're rough, but they are um, a good idea in the making. These little chairs I made out of the same cardboard as I used for the tables and just some wire that I bent I made a little jig so they would all be uniform and I put a bit of turquoise paint on them as well and some of that grey colour with a bit of stain and I drew around the edges I came out I'm happy with how they came out I thought they'd be clunky I was worried that they would be awful but they came out quite good and I'm pleased with them as well I've never been one for building furniture but uh after doing this, I'm, I'm more inclined to have a go at it. They're adorable. <laughs> I just did some uh, old boards up. So I did some brown wash stained coffee stirrers that I chopped up and then a bit of uh, cream coloured pencil just to bring out the grain in the wood to make it look like it's just, you know, old weathered wood. Quick and easy glue it onto the window I only did one of these I know there's supposed to be more but I just did the one and the tiny little um, stool this was so easy to make I didn't even bother showing that as well but I can do a quick video on it if you like and this is it um, so far I'm not sure if I'll do another video but um, I, I like this the way it is it, it's quite nice I wouldn't mind doing the interior but I don't know if it's gonna happen yet but um, yeah lots of little things in this one and the furniture was uh, was interesting to make well I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and I do hope to see you next time